from home and you're I like to sing, dance, pretend, and I like to have fun, 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 all right, party people, you're here on uh, Grand Theft Audio Radio. This is Jake Belcher. And I'm Brand Thoman. And uh, you've tuned in here on uh, June 1st, 2016. We have a good 55 zero minutes to just waste and goof off. So I don't want to waste and goof off any of our wasting and goofing off time. No. Let's introduce who we have in studio with us. Absolutely. Go right uh, ahead. All right. Uh, first, we have, uh, well, I guess since he's more of a guest today, he's joining us here on Grand Theft Audio for probably the fifth or sixth time Absolutely. since we started. Well, uh, this, this one here? No, just Grand Theft Audio in general. Oh, probably you know? close to 10 times. Probably 10 times, yeah. yeah a long-time friend of the show. Years. Super stoked to always have him on. Uh, he is uh, wa riding a huge wave of success right now that... Um, I could hardly be any happier for the guy's the best. So and um, you actually helped me audition for it. Um, I, I I did. That's true. What is it? It's I'm in a film called The Birth of the Nation that comes out October seventh through Fox Searchlight. I play a white heterosexual Christian plantation owner in eighteen thirty one, and I'm a gay liberal Jew. And uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, on the gay thing, you also get to rape a woman on film, right? Well, we're not supposed to talk about. Oh, my that. bad. Congratulations. <laughs> my bad. A lot uh, of people dream of that. That's some people nice. raping someone. Yeah, a lot of people want to do that. Congrats. Oh, okay. It was, there's, just, there's just so many <laughs> things that are. It's, it is what acting is. Acting is, you know, the ability to be something that you're not. And like yes. this character is something that you're not. No. And um, <laughs> I'm very excited for you. I'm really excited too. I'm very uh, pleased and just to be in a film that actually comes out. Sure, <laughs> sure. Know, I have three others coming out in the next year too. Well, you say just coming out. I mean, you've had a long run of Sundance films. And, yes. Um, I mean, you've. You, you've been very active and successful I for a while. I was in Tangerine last year from Sundance, and the year before I was in, uh, that was, this, Tangerine was a film that was shot on the iPhone. Yeah, it's Wild oh, Man. It's cool. Wild Man. And then that was with the two transgender gals, uh, A Day in the Life, and through Sean And Baker. it happens right through the stretch. Yes. Basically, much of it just is exactly. right out here at Santa Monica Boulevard. And exactly. It, it's sort of cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And then the year before I was in Love is Strange with Melissa, Marissa Tomei, rather, uh, John Lithgow, and uh, Fred Molina. Well, we're wish you uh, nothing but success for this. It hasn't come out yet, so you haven't even gotten to ride the wave. Uh, of like, this is I awesome, saw you know? the film. Yeah, it's almost like I'm making it up to show off. It doesn't seem real. Sure. It doesn't okay. seem real at all. It well. seems like I feel really sort of grateful and sort of crazy, you know, that it's that there's this much excitement sure. about a movie, you know, that I'm in. Well, and tomorrow night I'm going to be at, just in the audience, but they're doing a Q&A and showing some clips at the ArcLight in Culver City through the LA Film Fest, I think. Um, and I'm going to be in the audience just, I guess, watching and. Sure. Well, yeah, th that'll be neat. And representing. Sure, that's pretty neat, man. And hopefully, I'll see, there'll be a clip. A clip of your stuff, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, no, I can't say that. So I'm going, <laughs> I'm going with a couple cast members. Sure. Uh, Esther uh, um, Scott and uh, Katie Garfield. All right, man. As the grandmother and the sister. Now, when is it going to be released oh. here in the U.S.? October 7th. October 7th. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Just big, in time for the... Hollywood premiere is going to be the 21st of September. Yeah. And that's sort of cool. It, you know, the, the, the really interesting thing is that it, it, more so than being in a film that just comes out, it's a film that I actually feel so behind. It's, it's, um, it's the beginning of Black Lives Matter. It's, it's about black abolitionist Nat Turner. It's about his fight against the white slave, slave owners. It's the first time ever that somebody was documented. I'm sure there must have been people who fought against them, but it wasn't documented because mm -hmm. people in those days couldn't read or write sure. mm -hmm. and weren't allowed to do it. So it was the first time that this guy, Nat Turner, had the fortitude to fight against the white slave owners, me and Jackie O'Haley and Jason Warner, uh, Warner Smith. Uh, the three of us played the uh, plantation owners, sort of the villains. And well, Jackie O'Haley can be a real intimidating, dark guy. Not you know? at all. Oh, uh, not in real life, but in movies he sure can, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. sure. So I, I'm sure I it's really going to be terrible. I met him one day on the set because we didn't have any scenes together. Oh. And then I hung out with him a little bit at Sundance. 
really sweet guy. Oh, and people know him from being Oscar nominated for Little Children and doing the rework of um, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street, and sure, the Watchmen, Watchmen, and Watchmen. all sorts of other um, big projects. But yeah, um, yeah, it's got a great cast. He, he just had a complete career resurgence sure. ten years ago out of obscurity. I guess he got big off of um, was it uh, men, little little children, little children, Oscar nominated, yeah. and yeah. he also had done that film with Sean Penn that didn't even do well, but that's the one that brought him back, All the King's Men. Yeah, I'm not as familiar with that one. Yeah, it was a remake know. of an old Broderick Crawford film. Broderick Crawford? Broderick Crawford from... Uh, I don't even know who that guy is either. Oh, he was... See, that's why I don't host the show that Jason hosts. Jason hosts the show here on um, ZHollywood.tv Wednesdays. Wednesdays. At, like, there's a little sign port in the back there. Uh, yes. It's uh, absolutely Jason's stage. Yes, and the only reason it's... Oh, well, yeah, you're on your shoulder right, oh, right there. there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's very nice. Like, like an angel and the devil. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yes, uh, I hosted... And today we had uh, Eric Adé, who is a stunt person and an actor who was actually... Um, sort of midnight expressed uh, when, when he was in his early 20s. Mm -hmm. He was in a uh, Pakistani jail for Whoa. two years. Yes. Three years almost. Sure. He's a wonderful actor. He's in the movie uh, American Sniper with Bradley Cooper. Mm. Cool. And he was on the show talking about all this stuff and being a uh, stuntman and being a uh, actor and also how he, how, uh, you know, how, how positively and how he's led his life and how it hasn't become a part of who he is. So we just learned a lot introducing you. Now, oh, I'm sorry. That was <laughs> <the end>. now, <laughs> now I have to introduce the person that's sitting next to you. I, so I've kind of begged. This oh, girl. I don't think we've even actually said his name. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, no gentlemen. Way. Jason it's Stewart. Fine. It's uh, absolutely. Yeah, I, you're right. Oh, hold on. Jason it's absolutely I, Jason oh. Stewart. It's on my shoulder. Sure. Right there. We did yeah. say it, but I don't think we actually officially introduced right. him, ladies Jason and gentlemen. Stewart Jason and Stewart. And tweet is Jason underscore Stewart, and as you can see, it's S T. Wait. S T U A R T. S T U A R T. That's right. There, there's no W in there. No, that's right. <laughs> uh, so, so uh, I'm so oh sorry. I had no <laughs> yeah. idea. So, just sitting next to Jason. Okay, let's go back to that shot there. We've got to prove that she's here. We've heard her say, yeah. "Oh yeah," and all sorts of things, you know. Hey, yeah. So we've got to introduce that voice. Hi. Uh, so she's been a guest here uh, before. I really enjoyed her spirit a lot. She went along with a lot of things, and uh, you know, she's a lot of fun. Uh, I've actually met her through Carl Kozlowski, so it's all a small, tiny little world. Hello. What and do you do? My name is Leah Knauer. Leah. So <laughs> I'm Jason last time, Stewart, and I forgot to say my own name. <laughs> but, okay, so last well, time, you didn't get to mine. Sure, sure, yeah, it's right yeah, there. Yeah. It's right there. See, I was gonna make the point that like mine's so not there. there. You could be the poo. Do you poo the poo show. Yeah, that's not. Do you have a show here. The poo show. No, no, not at no. all. Oh, that's why you wouldn't have a show there. That's yeah. Why you wouldn't have a post. Well, I guess. I mean, right now I do. Yeah, that's right. Because she is um. <laughs> no, oh, now she's a host on here. A recurring host is the hope, at least. You know. Yeah. Recurring host. Sure. Mm -hmm. Which is what happens until you become the host. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. right. And then they kick me off to the side, and um, yeah, well, I, it's the Leah sad. show. The Leah show. So yes. I, I okay, so last time or I brought Knauer you on, hour. and I was like the Knauer, the the Knauer hour. Like I've been playing that since like sixth grade. It's fine. I don't want to be. On, I'm trying to stay so I don't. You want to, you want to have yourself name? as a parrot over your shoulder. <laughs> hey, we all, they all see you, Jason. This is not that big a deal. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> so weird. So last time we had you on, I called you Leia Knauer. And you're like, you're like no. like yeah. it, It's not like um, the, from Star Wars. Yeah, I'm not a princess. I wish I was. So for the last couple of weeks, like every time I think about how to pronounce your name, I try to think of like a sad Luke Skywalker in the snow, like saying, Leah. And it doesn't make oh. sense. It has to be Leia. Leia. Like, okay. So that's how I finally got into my, into my head that you are a Leah and not a Leia. Thank you. So yeah. it took a lot of uh, thought about the... Uh, yeah, a lot of effort. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. And last time you were here, we had a super uh, creepy, Intr creepy dude on. <laughs> it was incredible. It was yeah, she's quite a show. Like a biblical conversation. That went somewhere I was not expecting. Uh, a few times. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. It was odd. Uh, I'm actually going to go out with that same guy this weekend. And uh, we told the story about how we went up to Angeles Crest and we stopped. You're going those. out with a guy this weekend? Yes. Um, we, okay, my wife is out of town. This sounds she terrible. Know it? Hey. Uh, she doesn't know it, but she under she'll understand when I tell her why. Oh. So last time uh, I went out with this guy, we went out into um, the forest and we stopped a bunch of witches from putting a, a spell on Los Angeles. So this time we're going to go up to a Lancaster and we're going to try to stop a whole bunch of Satanists from putting a pentagram around Lancaster. It's like this. Uh, for real? Really for real. How do you How know they're going to do that? Who he, he tells told me, people? He told me that it's going to happen. Oh, nobody, like wait, this wait, is wait, one of his. Nobody really, really cares about Lancaster. 
Okay, but <laughs> that's true. I, I think it's actually I, I one think, of the gates to hell. I think if, that's why they're you doing get stuck it. there. I think that's why they're doing it because, like, um, they, I don't think anyone thinks they're going to try to fight it off. But we're going to go up there and we're going to try to move the points of like their pentagram around the city. Well, I once did a gig out there that Mickey Rooney's son actually owned a club out there. It was called the Mickey Rooney Comedy Barn or something. So you're saying hell already exists in Lancaster? Yeah. So <laughs> it was it was pretty awful. I mean, oh, yeah, it couldn't have been that bad, right? I'm sure they're very nice people that live in Lancaster. I'm sure there are some. I've driven through there a few through there a few times. I, I dated this girl that was a meth person, mm -hmm. and she needed to get like a lot of meth. So we went through uh, Lancaster oh. once. Well, the, the, one, the one time it? I stopped in Lancaster, I, I picked up a hitchhiker on my way down to L.A. from the Mammoth area. Oh, that was nice of you. Yeah, I, I, I you know, I, I needed somebody in the car with me, and <laughs> all of a sudden he pulls out the meth pipe and is like, "Hey, you want to hit this?" What? Like, whoa, no, whoa. dude, I'm straight, but you go right ahead. Great thing about this stuff is it doesn't smell like anything. That's what I got from it. That's the oh, only thing I learned about man. meth that day. And rolled the window down. <clears throat> excuse me. As soon as he started smoking, like this is not going to happen. But he wanted me to stop at this place in Lancaster to, so he could sell a drill. That he had uh. obviously stolen to some shady yeah, did he little first Mexican try to guy. I'm having a flashback. He asked if I needed it. For some reason, it. I feel like I've heard this story. I don't know why. Or was that you? I hope not. <laughs> the methed out <laughs> drill salesman <laughs> in the middle of Lancaster. I had a gig once in Lancaster, you know, but for sure. recently, even for another oh. place, it was in a movie theater that they actually do a comedy night. I forgot the name of it. But I will be in Palm Springs again on, on June 25th. Yeah. I'm I, doing my. I'm. Um, I'm a, a only gay on the weekends show. I also okay. see that you have another friend of the show on that uh, show as well, Paul Alaya. Paul was in last month, and now this month is Dana Eagle. Oh, my bad. Mm. I guess I saw last month's poster. Yeah, but, um, Dana yeah. Eagle's going to be with oh, from right. Last Comic Standing. Oh, right. cool. We're doing a June oh, 25th. Oh, I love her. And if you like, oh, she's really great. Mm -hmm. And if you like cabaret and it's great, great food and it's a great place. And what's really cool about Palm Springs is my mother will call him and interrupt the show just at a moment's notice. Oh, good. And I get to talk about Trump and everything that's happening. We're, we're okay. going to come back and we're going to talk about Trump. But right uh, now, since we're in the idea of promoting appearances and stuff, I want to get to uh -huh. Leah. Uh, she has a couple shows this week. Uh, Thursday, she's going to be at The Grand, yeah. which is a, a show down at the West Side Comedy Theater. Oh, oh nice. stand up also? Wonderful. Stand up and improviser and sketch. Wonder oh, yeah. wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, and uh, Friday you. night, you can also catch her at um, Tonight It's Live! <laughs> So, uh, Wait, there's Friday. A place called Friday. Yeah, yeah. Tonight there's, it's live. There's a place called Tonight it's live. No, no it's, it's at the West show. Side Comedy yeah. Theater. In Santa I love Monica. the West Side. Yeah, yeah. It's you used to do theater. our show. Yes, I was the Grand Yeft Audio Show. You actually oh. introduced and me to that place. Sure, sure. And you guys we, did this there? Uh, yeah, we did a live, oh. live no, stand-up stand show. Stand yeah. show. Yeah, we did a stand-up show. Cool. Okay. It was really fun. Yeah, and we used to pull big crowds, and it was a lot of fun. But now their big show is just called The Grand. It's actually it it's normally old slot? it's normally called the grind, but oh. then they add okay, people. Good. When they like, add what? people, it's the grand. Well, stab these motherfuckers for stealing yeah, half of our name. I want to be in this show. <laughs> it's fun. Yeah, well, well, I've never done it. We'll find out. It's improv, so I can't tell you how good oh, it's going right. to be or bad it's going to be. But it could be scary. Yeah, it could be horrible. It's a coin toss of whether gonna we're going to laugh or not at it. Yeah. Well, you can learn about those more at the West Side Comedy Theater. dot com, which probably is not even a real website. I just made that up. Uh, but I think yeah. it's westsidecomedy.com. Okay, I think you were close. That yeah, sounds yeah. more accurate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go check yes. out those shows. Also, next week, you can catch me. <laughs> I'm going to be down at the Muse on 8th. I'm going to be doing a stand-up and singing show. So you sing a couple songs. And I did a little show at the coffee house um, there. It was oh, um, very fun. Yeah, I, I have not been to this place yet. Super looking forward it's to it. really, out. really fun. It's Cute. right in the side of the... You know, that whole area of Wilshire and uh, La Brea has become very New York. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, I, I, I'm going to have to find out what that means. Maybe during the commercial, but you <laughs> tell me more. But we have to go to the commercials. Oh, go to the commercials. See all these other like posters up here and stuff. These are all the shows here that you can catch here on ZHollywood.tv. So learn more about them and come back into the side. We're going to talk about Trump and a bunch of other nonsense. So um, two minutes, guys. Come on. Cool. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi, I'm Rob Schneider. Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt McAndrew. Hey everyone, I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Corey Cool. Hi, I'm Martha Madison. This is Slink Johnson, AKA Black Jesus, BKA Godzilla Lungs. Hello, I'm Eric Roberts. Yeah, what's up? This is Craig Wayans. Hi, this is Brad Williams. And as you can tell, I have never gotten high. Dang! <laughs> Speedy Don. And I am the fabulous Stephen King. What's good? It's your boy Marcus Falk, man. We keeping it lit. I'm Money B. Hey, I'm John Sally. What's up, y'all? This is Crazy Bone in the building. It's your girl, Shantae Wayans. It's your favorite DJ, DJ Spark. And it's your boy, Street Symphony. And you're watching Z. Z. Z Hollywood TV. Hello.
A hot nothing. We out here. That's what we talking about. Absolutely nothing. A Thursdays, hot. 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. A hot nothing on Z Hollywood TV. That was perfect. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. <laughs> Hi, I'm Moxie. And I'm Nicole. And we're the ladies of Suicide, Suicide Girls, Girls Radio, Radio, the world's leading BYOB radio show. Pour a glass of your favorite tipple and tune in on Wednesday nights between 8 and 9 p.m. as we discuss life, liberty, and the pursuit of free nipples. I just flash it would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? People think flashing your tits is easy, right? And it's actually kind of hard. Alright, we're back here on Grand Theft Audio Radio. I'm going to put these headphones on and be like, is my voice gone for you? And yes, it is. I'm going to take them off because it doesn't really matter right now. Uh, it is... Wednesday, June 1st, 2016. We've mm -hmm. got a whole bunch of things going on in the world. We are in the middle of our uh, presidential election. Mm -hmm. uh, next week is our vote here in California. A whole bunch of people I know have... Um, I Actually, I know a lot more Republicans than I do Democrats, even really? here in California. Yeah, because yeah. like, that's where I we know. grew up, no, man, you know. I grew up in a town called La Canada that's like as conservative Glendale? as... Uh, it's, North it's of Glendale? It's right above Glendale, yeah. yeah. And uh, it's a super conservative place. Very much like, so. It's all Republicans, so I, don't I know. Have any friends that are Republicans. Uh, well, I mean, you might, you know. No, not that. Uh, I, no, I don't think so. You I might have, have a friend who's Republican. I have parents who oh. are. Sure, sure. Well, I know this guy <laughs> named Jake. Are you really a Republican? I, I'd say more than a Democrat, you know. Like you voted for Bush. <laughs> yeah, I voted for Bush, <laughs> yeah, <he> man. <laughs> I did. I, I I voted for Democrats. Close up. I close up. Close up. Sure, sure. Face. Get him. I have voted I for Democrats in the past. I'm not. I'm not a Bush. You I'm voted not a, for George Bush. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, you, I also voted for Barack sure. Obama. So don't these things kind of balance out a little bit? Hmm. I mean, I, I'm not a strict what party happened? line person. Okay. I couldn't stand Mitt Romney. Like that guy oh. was just a. I, I'm not a straight party line person. Did you vote for Clinton or did you vote for uh, Bush? One. I voted for I think Perot in my first. That makes sense. Time. Yeah, I did. I did too. First, Ninety-two first and ninety-six, both Anderson. times. Anderson? Yeah. I, well, who was Anderson's? Who is Anderson? I, mean, I didn't want to vote for either of the people, whoever they were. I couldn't remember who it was. But I might, if I tell you who it was, I'll tell you how old I am. Sure. Even though I'm more of a Republican, I don't think I'll go this way that way this year. I'm pretty oh, sure. Trump is the, sure, I, sure. I, I like Jill Stein from Harry the Biden? Green Party. Did you see the newscast, the, new, the news uh, press conference yesterday? And he's sitting there sure, right there insanity. telling these yeah. people what assholes they are yeah. Yeah. to their face. Yeah, that was insanity. Yeah, when they, when they, for, wait, for, I just have to get this out. I have to throw up it out sure. of me. So first he's telling them right to their face what a terrible person they are because they happen to ha ask a question he doesn't like or they disagree with him. He is like, uh, somebody said it, he is like, uh, th he is like Biff. From Back to the Future. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he is definitely like that. I mean, he, yeah. But see, Biff eventually gets manure poured on him, and we all get to like laugh. Well, that's. I don't know that's, that's going to happen here. I like, hope it oh, does. like I, there's a there's a huge fear that the, like the, this no, guy's going to be our huge president. Fear. Oh, it's okay. Very I, good. I, I, Every I, time you say it, I legit feel like I'm talking to Trump. I have a hard time. I have. I huge. Huge. Okay, huge. How are you, okay. How are you supposed huge. to say? Huge. Well, then huge. Then it, like a hard H like that, but you drop it. Huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable that this happened. How could this? It's unbelievable. He said, I cannot believe, this is what he said last week, I cannot believe that Hillary Clinton has been so rude to all the women that Bill has had an affair with. What is he supposed to have? Who, who's going to, why not, she should have a brunch. A who fucked my husband brunch. Wouldn't that be great? I, I, come on see, over. The idea, like, come on he's over. Just trying to like, come on over, Monica. Come, come over, yeah. Monica. Wear the dress. No one cares. And, you know, Jennifer, put down the flowers. We're serving croissants. Wait, there are multiple her. women? That yes. Bill has had that sex Bill with? Clinton has had I mean, sex who with? Who are you? I am 23, oh, <laughs> is what God. I am. Yeah, he was known as a womanizer. Yeah. Definitely. I yeah. thought it was just Monica. I didn't know yeah, there was well, that's, more. That's no, no, Monica was the one he got really caught with, but there were multiple women. He'd been women caught with that others. Said. The problem was he made everybody lie about her. Well, let, let's, so that, let, that's where the problem came from there. Yeah. It's not he let people lied about that then. Uh -huh. You did not talk about it. You did not ask a sitting president who you were having sex with. And if you would say, you just didn't ask those kind of questions. It was private. 
You know, and we don't ask those questions now. I mean, there's no one who's saying, oh, Mr. Obama, Mr. Obama, who are you, are you having sex right. with? Well, there's you no, know? But they didn't pay Kenneth Starr to, to find out from Obama. They paid Kenneth Starr millions of dollars to get something on the Clintons. He spent, that was his job, find something. But all I could find was a blowjob. Okay, look, so okay, look they, they made it easy, though, because they, they, what they really found was like a bunch of lies and like, hey, man, um, you're going to lose your job if you don't um, lie for me. And, well, that's um, what they're doing now with Hillary is they're trying to make her this crooked, Person. And, and she seems like she probably is a crooked person. No, I don't think any different than any other politician. Man. But I think she has been one who's probably been raked over the coals more than anybody and has never been. A I don't even think she's been raked over the coals yet. I think that. Are you a, kidding me? Uh, oh, she gets so much shit. Oh, come on. Not, not with what's good. Can you imagine this guy on television on like uh, all three networks and he knows that he's like 10 points down with um, like two weeks to go and the nasty fucking things he's oh, going to say then? He's he, going to go nuts. Nothing has happened yet. Yes, yes. I mean, this has go. all been very gentle. I think gentle. what's going to happen is his head's going to explode and that spaghetti on his head that looks like hair <laughs> is going to be pushed out to all the other networks. Well, and he, he's a loon. Uh, the, his whole thing last week where he's coming through here in California saying that there is no drought. You know, it's all it's all made up. Like, we've been living here for, you know, longer than you just coming through this week. We know that there's a drought here. You can't really lie to us and tell us, no, there's plenty of water. Uh, well, like, we're, we're just not giving it to you. He uh, terrifies me. I mean, even if I was a Republican, I don't think I could vote for him. And, like, it's yes, insane because the, the, like, the reactions on Twitter towards Hillary is just like, you're uh, like they'll call her the c word and like tell Canadian. her Canadian. No, oh. it's worse. How can you they'll do tell that? her to smile more, and it's like fuck you. Are we telling Obama or whoever to smile more? Like just because she's a woman, and yet this guy wants to kick all Muslims out of our country, and we're like, oh, he's totally cool. But she just like had some emails that were shady, sure. But like she didn't have emails that were shady. She didn't use her her um, uh, email through .dot gov, which apparently almost all of them don't. But see, okay, here, here's the difference, though. Those other people didn't set up a private server in their own home to be able to keep everything, like, on their own records and files. Like, uh, all these other people use public domain things. Um, so there wasn't the So idea. at least she was a little more careful. And, you know, and did it yes, but now if, if she has destroyed anything that could be detrimental to the Obama administration or to herself and that was destroyed, that should be a public record because we have the Freedom of Information she Act. She them all over. All no, over. she didn't. Like 22,000 of them never came. Mm -hmm. uh, she said that she uh, lost them. Well, what is really so supposed to be in those? So so it's so the same basic that idea that the cops do. Nobody knows. They, yeah. they lie. No, but I, why is that? I mean, you have all your emails. Hey, I don't look, think it's possible. It, oh, it's po it is possible because she... All of her emails came to one place. It all. It well, we all, don't know that though. For we do fact. though. Yes. This is what she's admitting. That, like, I she was just at own. Apple uh, before I came here. Okay. I was just actually at Apple and trying to figure out why that my emails from 2011 keep coming back. Okay, but this is that it has very little. Maybe something. I won't rule it out. Can't compare my but very little to, to Hillary Clinton's. What problems? if all of the emails are just like spam from Bed Bath and Body Works? Like that's <laughs> all it is. Is just like spam. I've never gotten spam. Or maybe. Oh, I, like majority so we sign of my up for inbox. Things. So yes. maybe they're emails for other other candidates wanting her to give fucking money every I day. Mean, or yeah. other ladies that um, Bill has banged. I mean, it, it could be anything. Uh, but the truth, but the point is, we don't really know. Why do we always come back to that though? Like that's her fault. She got cheated on. So it was like, oh wow, her husband. Because like, there was a history of it, and she was accepting of it. And for a lot of Americans, come on, we don't know what she was. That's in, a personal in, relationship. I, I hope that so she, beca if she becomes president, I hope that she gets her pussy eaten out underneath that desk and ah! like, she gets revenge. Ah! Because. That would that would make ah! everything just like even. I mean, I you know? hope she's getting that anyway. Okay, I hope she is too. But I just I don't want to know. More, I don't want to think about it. How much more relaxing would it be to her, like the Oval Office, just laying yeah, the big old fuck like, oh, you, man. <laughs> fuck like, you, Bill. Yeah, sure. Like yeah. That, that would have to be a wonderful. What is he going to be called if he wins? The first gentleman. First gentleman, I believe, is what they. Oh the, really? Gentleman. Is that what the term is? I Not believe. First man. I believe. Yeah, I believe that's going to be. Let's call him Papa Raw Dog. Because I understand he didn't like to wear condoms either. But so. I do have to say, Papa this, this will be historical because this will be the first person in the White House who has who's coming back and gets to do a redo. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you know, he's uh, not going to have that two-year freshman. What am I going to do? How about her? Because like she She's was there, redo, well, she and her redo is a little more important. Four years, like, um, four years, first lady. Last time she had to walk down to like the shitty "you ain't nothing" room and like take some time right. off oh, down no, there. She was she was one of the first first ladies to have her office in the in. 
the West Wing. But now well, she gets like the main thing, you know. What I look forward to is that that means that all the jobs that the, the the First Lady is supposed to do, like pick out the presidential china, all the, you know, pick out the drapery, that all falls to Bill. I want to see what the White House man cave is going to look like mm. when he gets to have a budget that he gets to take a room Couple and go. Couple pictures of mm. Monica. <laughs> oh no, he's not nice. even. Nice. <clears throat> oh wait, if they're good pictures. Um, sure. Yeah, that's terrible. Chubbygirls.com. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. Chubby girls? <laughs> Chubby girls are nice. Chubby girls. Hey, we got one more story we're going to do before Jason loses. We lose Jason at the bottom of the hour. Uh, in Cincinnati, a little uh, four-year-old boy was uh, hanging out with his parents, and he could apparently climbed through like an enclosure, uh, fell into down the into the um, like the pit where the gorillas are, and like was you know fell into like a gorilla pit. Oh yeah, and they killed that gorilla. Yeah. Yeah. Harambe. Well, they were worried about the kid. I mean, sure. The kid comes before a gorilla. Hundred percent, man. If I fall in a gorilla pit, kill that motherfucking gorilla. Mm-hmm. Don't because think about using any like um, tranquilizer. Like, do what you have to. Get it now. Yeah. Oh, I wonder why they didn't hit him with a tranquilizer. Okay, because, because the, at the size of the beast, he's like four hundred and fifty pounds. The yeah. amount of time it would take for that about to get twenty through. minutes, they say. And and on top of that, the dart is still going to irritate him, which m- could cause him to attack anger. the child. Oh, they yeah. had this stone. Well, they did the right thing. It's just an unfortunate. They had this super stone zookeeper from the Miami Zoo on the next morning. He's like, "Yeah, man, like he gets uh, it takes twenty minutes for him to be <laughs> all uh, relaxed." And oh man, <laughs> did <laughs> he take it? How's this guy on television? No wonder that kid got took in the there. tranquilizer. Sure. Sure. <laughs> fix that fence. He's yeah. The, yeah, he's the, he's the guy. Who, yeah. No, no. So we're all in agreement, right? Kill the gorilla. I mean, here's the thing, though. Like, people will never be happy. Had they killed the kid or not? They should kill the kid. Yeah, <laughs> kill the kid. That goddamn kid yeah. right here. I told and you it not was to his do it. Fault. No, Here's if they hadn't, if they hadn't right. killed the gorilla, like people just would have been upset. Like, why didn't you? Now you just let a kid die. So sure. it's like either way, people are upset. Awful. There's no way of winning that. So well, no. there it's is. Awful. There is. Come on, life of a human comes before an animal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That is winning. Human. Human. What did I say? You both do it. You both drop the eight. You drop it on. Human, you went human. human. And he I am on a you. last minute guest on this. <laughs> Secret <show>. Trump. <laughs> Apparently, I have to, uh, you know, completely ruined the, the whole structure no. of how the show goes. So Absolutely not. Is the idea if you drop your H's, you're a secret Trump supporter? Yes. Oh, no. You're a closeted Trump supporter. Uh oh. Uh, honey, there's no closet for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's too exhausting. Yeah, you pronounce the H in homosexual, right? Yeah, in the C. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Secret Trump supporter. <laughs> Almost. Well, thank you so much. For thank you for coming me. in, I'm Jason. I'm so sorry I have to leave. Yeah, you learn more about him at jasonstewart.com and um, S T U A. Oh, S T U A. And, and later on, if you're just like zoning out during the show, you can just stare at that poster still up over his shoulder. It'll be like he's still here, yeah. but just a more quiet version of me. <laughs> Come see me in Palm Springs on the 25th. Sure. And uh, go tomorrow night if you're here in uh, Los Angeles to the uh, Century, not Century City, Culver City uh, ArcLight, and you can see Nate Parker and. Uh, Gabriel Union and Asia cool. Naomi King from How to Get Away with Murder. They're going to do a Q and A, and I will be in the audience with cool, some man. of the club. Very cool. Members, we can t- I'll say hello, and they'll be showing clips and questions. And definitely October seventh to go see movie the movie. Comes out October seventh, and I have other movies coming out almost every month. Wow. Uh, on demand or whatever you call on the internet. I have Hush Up Sweet Charlotte on Hulu in June and in July. Just I have Dirty, the, f- the film I did Just with Paul. You know, oh, we're going to a commercial. Just I'm sorry. Uh, Jake is in charge of this show, and I'm leaving right now. And I love you all more than life itself. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Jason. Very nice. Good luck to Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Jason. You're the best as always, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, I'm Money B, and you can kiss my ass. Let me swallow my snot. <laughs> that's, that's sexy. Keep up the good work, mild net. Ma- oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let me see how I'm gonna come and check out. No, I love you. Oh yeah, why no cyclocyanabin. <laughs> 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 Always switching up. Always switching up. What was that? My wedding band jumped out of my. Oh my god, I hope it's on Omen. Call my wife. He keeps moving away. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rob Schneider, and you're watching T Hollywood V. Z Hollywood T. Z! Bang a bang. A bang a bang. Nailed it. I'm 
Annie from Lady Pants, and you're watching the top 10 women who are killing it in comedy. Here's a numero six. Alana Glazer and Abby Jacobson. They're 28, and they are unafraid to show their fat rolls and their pubes and talk about masturbating and dildos in a way that is absolutely not for men. Right in the butt. It's for women, and it's hilarious. They are the American dream of comedy. They flitted around UCB in New York, decided to make a web series. That web series became wildly popular, caught the attention of Amy Poehler and Comedy Central, and voila! They are now in the middle of their third season executive producing, writing, and starring in Broad City, the best female buddy comedy to have graced the tiny silver screen. We predict movie deals and many more amazing things for them in the immediate future. Here comes number seven. All we're right, back. we're back here on Grand Theft Audio Radio. This is Jake Belcher. And I'm Brant Thoman. And joining us still... Leah Knauer. Yay! So, um, you know, I always like to leave uh, something for the next segment. So we're talking during the break. Uh, we're talking about how much water one consumes during an episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saying, oh man, it's going to be great to go to the bathroom. And I said, I can't wait to go home and go to the bathroom. And I said, you can go here. I, I can, but uh, <laughs> that would kind of ruin why I'm excited. Uh, for the last, like, month, I've had a uh, toilet... Can I guess? Sure. You got the squatty potty. No, but that, oh. that does look nice. It is you, you, nice. You, have you tried it? Yeah. Okay, my friend we, has we explain it. the squatty yes, please. potty? Yes, What is the squatty potty? I Do you know what it is? No, I don't. So it's like this, uh, I guess, footrest that goes in front of oh. and at the bottom of your toilet. So you put your feet up. So it like, it makes your body so... Here's your more so of a V shape, right? Yeah. So when you have to like really squeeze so it out, you can really get some good pushes. leverage on it. And be like, exactly, Ugh. it naturally pushes. That's technically how we're supposed to be pooping. So the Asians have been pooping like uh, properly in yes. those little those little ground toilets, yeah. for for centuries. And this is what causes like hemorrhages and hemorrhoids. 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 What's the difference? I, I, okay, hemorrhage I, is when you 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 bleed. Your ugh, ugh. Internal bleeding usually. Oh, okay. Um, uh, it causes it to bleed. Uh, okay. A hemorrhoid is, is the just thing. is the butt thing where you got to get the preparation H and hope yes, it goes yes. away. Okay, so this prevents that. A uh, yucko. A mm -hmm. yucko. That sounds yucko. Oh yeah. But um, <laughs> you know what I've got? Your your guess was wrong. <laughs> like, oh bummer. Yeah. So, well, I'm also um, being sponsored by Squatty Potty, so oh get right. it. Oh, nice. I hope those t-shirts come in soon, because I'd yeah. love to get one. <laughs> yeah, okay. I use the Squatty Potty. <laughs> so was like, oh, there we go. Yeah. Uh, there it is. Wait, that, that's not you, right? No, that's not me. But they There's have like a really fun stuff. commercial. Yeah. I don't know if they can pull it out, but it's mm. like, you guys should watch it All when right. you get a chance. Uh, I, I, I'll probably do that later. Probably go to yeah. SquattyPotty.com. I just yeah. like saying the Squatty yeah, Potty. If you like Squatty, squatty potty, potty, tell them you learned about it on um, Grand Theft Audio Radio. Yeah. Will they give us some money? <laughs> I don't know. We'll get one, we'll get one, for, the, we'll get one for the studio. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we'll get a portable one for the, for the, uh, yeah. for the, for the studio. It'll be great. great. Bag of yucko all over anyway, the Anyway, why here. are you excited? So, um, I've had this problem probably my entire life. It's probably happened like uh, six or seven times now throughout my life, and I've, I've rarely put up with it as long as I did this time. But, like, um, somehow my toilet sh seat started to shift every time I sat down, you know? Mm -hmm. And, like... It kind of like slides off, and it's 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 all it's really awful. So, so you're off center, and you feel off. So yeah. that has been adjusted. N no, no, no. I tried to adjust it, but um, I could do nothing, man. I, I'd stay up at night, and I'd be like, no, the frustration of a slippery toilet seat. Okay. <laughs> like, today I decided to um, to like not be harassed like that anymore in my life. And I went and I bought a new toilet seat. Nice. So I figure I got it good at least, you know, probably like two, three years or so until it happens again. <laughs> <laughs> so, hooray. Yeah. You're excited to go home like you just got a new dog okay, or look, something. Cause, cause look, have you had a chance to break it in? <laughs> no, because see, I, see. I put it in, then I didn't have to shit. Right. Oh, bummer. And like, so like you have to, like if you pee, you still have to sit. It's yes. so like you got a you know, 100% chance if you go that you're going to get some bowl time. I yeah. only got a 50-50. Bowl time. You know? <laughs> so, I should totally invest. Ripoff. I never it, thought about did that. you get yeah. the heated kind? No. Mm. What is it? I, 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 like why would the heated seat? I don't know. Some people we love the heated place. seat. Some people love the heated seat in the car. Maybe they like it when they have to go to the bathroom as well. I do love it in the car. My wife See? loves it too. Mm -hmm. yeah, she just loves that. Uh, it was like the only feature that we had to get when we bought a uh, new car. I so. get that. Yeah, but apparently yeah. here in California, not all that popular. 
Well, yeah, we don't really need it. Yeah, we totally makes sense in um, Michigan. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. um, your life sucks in Michigan, and it's cold. So you should have one cool thing. One, right. you know. Like you so when you get in the car, at least your ass will be warm in that cold, cold That state. seems reasonable to me. It's a reason to live still. So odd riding home with him sometimes, and all of a sudden it's like, why is my ass so fucking... <laughs> uh, switch off. God damn it. My wife oh, had ridden it. there, you know. Yeah, so. she was the last one to use it, and thus the heater was on. Yeah. At, in a 112-degree day. Yeah, she does not care how hot it is. It can never <laughs> be too hot to turn it on. She's always Loves it. Since we're talking about it right now, and we're going to get into this next, um, we love holidays. Uh, today is kind of a holiday for me. As uh, 15 years ago, I uh, asked her to be my girlfriend, Cute. and uh, seven years ago, I asked her to be my wife. So, um, yeah, we've been together a long time. Uh, I've been blessed, and we've had great adventures. And thank you, lady. You made my life so much better. I love you. Congratulations, both of you. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. What took so long to propose? (laughs) uh, Life happens. She had some things go on that made it a not good idea. I had some things go on that made it not a suitable idea. And um, it would have just led. There was no way we would still be together if we had gotten married earlier, you know? That's so, good then. Stuck yeah, it out. Mm-hmm. It all worked out. Cute. Uh, but we do here on uh, Grand Theft Audio is we talk about holidays and memorials and remembrances and that type of jazz. Indeed. So today is June 1st. It means we have a huge, huge, <laughs> huge list of uh, new holidays. What do we got starting off? We've got Adopt a Cat Month. Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Are, are you? Do you like kitties? I actually fostered a dog last month, <laughs> but it was too much responsibility. But maybe I'll fo- So uh, what happened to the fostered dog? dog? Went um, back to the, went he back. Got, he got adopted. Oh, good. Oh, that's Which right. Which is great for him, yeah. Yes. He was so sweet, but it's so much responsibility. Mm-hmm. Sure, it's a lot. A cat, you can just kind of like, um, about Let it two, go. two, three times a day you think about it. Does it have any water? Does it have any, like, right. a thing to chew on? Is You're it like, alive? You know, yeah. uh, did it drag I, a, uh, a lizard into my kitchen to leave right. for me as a gift? Thanks for feeding me. Yeah. And even though I live in a very dangerous area with lots of coyotes, I still let them run around all they want because, like, I don't yeah. want to deal with a litter box. So, like, jump out the window, take a shit. Yeah, they're <laughs> like, fine. They're wonderful, you yeah. know. They're smart enough to get away from the coyotes. They can climb trees. I love them. Uh, also, it's Adopt a Shelter Cat Month. So, don't if you want a cat, don't go out there and buy one of those expensive Persian cats. You don't need a $1,000 cat like um uh, some... Cat Von Eris D. has or something. She has Cat Von D has yeah. an expensive cat. She has one of those hairless. The hairless the cats. Is that what those it are is? yuck. Yeah, though they're they're, they're hideous. Uh, yeah, that's one of the sickest looking creatures around. You guys yeah. ever petted pet one? Uh, uh, no. I feel uh, like it would feel like a penis. It's no. It, no, I, I know how that. Like I, really like that like I really know what that. I really know what that feels like. It didn't really feel like cats. You know, it was just a purr. Boner. Yeah, it, it was <laughs> such an odd sensation. I don't know how to really describe it because it's not like we've all touched the, the what a, a cat's tongue has touched our sure, finger. We've all touched yeah. crazy, the cat's tongue, but nothing like that. I mean, I don't know why I would expect it to be, but it's it just because so there's. Uh, I guess your tongue yeah. kind of feels like your skin. Yeah, they're pretty close. I mean, they're not that far off. They're <laughs> they're seemingly <laughs> yuck, man. Uh, honestly, if yeah. I if I pet one of those things, I feel I have to like go around and tell people like I'm a registered offender. The <laughs> leg looks like a turkey. Yeah, yeah, look at his little giblets. Yeah. Yucko. Okay, what else we got going on this month? This month is also African American Music Appreciation Month. Oh. Do you like African American music? I love rap music. Yeah, I love rap music too. Like, but um, is that the only music that's African American? I don't think that's what they're referring hasn't, to. Has, I mean, has, I think it counts. Okay. You know? Okay, but wasn't rock and roll considered black music before it was and taken? Jazz. And jazz. And jazz is definitely. Think we've taken okay, over look, everything. Look, what's white people music? <laughs> Polka, right? Because there's Polka? no goddamn beat to it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Even then, I bet that, he has, like, I, I guarantee. That comes I, I, from jazz. I don't know I mean, this, but I guarantee that Kenny G has a black bass player. I guarantee it. There's no way. Like, that's just my instinct, but um, there's no way he doesn't. Okay, white people music, Dave Matthews Band. Hey, hey, look, even then, the only good people in that band are Boyd Tinsley, their electronic guitar playing black dude, their drummer. Um, okay, look, um, <laughs> my wife's going to be like, you couldn't name the whole band? So like she was happy a minute ago, and I was like, "Thank you," but now yeah. she's like, "Why do you talk? Why do you use my voice that way?" But, right. <laughs> but you know, that's uh, better than other women impressions I've heard. Whenever guys do impressions of women, they sound horrible. It's always like this. Like we don't talk like that. See, like you sounded more like a woman there when you said that than you normally do when you talk. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> 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 I think that's just the way our ears pick it up. I mean, I'm sorry. No. Maybe in in your defense, though, I whenever I do a dude, I like do it like this. So it's like I'm not as yeah. That is worst. culturally insensitive. Yes. <laughs> like, I'm so sorry. I know that you're making fun of like um, white surfer Bros. dudes. So yeah. Very I'm sad. So sorry. I'm sure. Look, uh, I am very appreciative of uh, African American music. So I feel that we have 
<laughs> adequately covered this, you know, remembrance or memorial. Yeah. Yes. Would you all agree? Yeah. Absolutely. It's time to move on to the next thing. Sure. sure. What okay, is the next great. thing? Uh, the next thing is um, <laughs> Altiposophilid Antibody Syndrome Awareness Month. Are you aware that Altiposophilid Antibody Syndrome existed? No. What kind I of syndrome? But you're aware now, right? I don't understand what you're saying. I heard antibody syndrome. Yeah, yeah. What was I, the first I, I zoned out too after like the third uh, <laughs> yeah. syllable, syllable. It was unpleasant to listen to. Yeah. What is that? Uh, man, there's a link. Are we going to really learn about this? Okay, here we go. It is Antiposophilid Antibody Syndrome Awareness Month. And uh, what it is is um, it's uh, the leading – okay, here it is. It's associated with recurrent clotting events, including premature stroke, repeated miscarriages, ooh, ooh. plebitis, venous thrombosis, which is a clot in the vein, and pulmonary thromboliasm. So I'm glad that we're really covering this. Yeah. How does one like do something about this? Well, you go to uh, APS Foundation of America. If you feel that you are in danger of these things, you're probably a hypochondriac. Maybe. Yeah. We've also got yeah. Audiobook Appreciation Month. Have oh. either of you ever enjoyed an audiobook? Many times. Really? Like, you're a big fan when of those I, audiobooks. When, when, I would, uh, when I was living up in Mammoth and I would come down to visit, it was a great opportunity. I'd have eight hours of drive time to just be able to drop in a CD and listen to huh. uh, a book being read to me. So uh, I don't do it so much now just because I, I'm not in a car where I'm just kind of stuck and I have yeah. it, something to fill the air. But yeah. uh, Sure, you can always play the, uh, one of your games now. Yeah, exactly. Those are more entertaining than books. Would you play... Um, Say Candy Crush, if in the background you were getting like a Stephen King book read to you. <laughs> is probably he driving pro- while kinda, kinda, all this is not, happening. No, hopefully not while I'm driving. Not no. while I'm driving, no, I wouldn't do that. But uh, in all actuality, I have deleted all three of the Candy Crushes I had on my phone. I just, I just couldn't take them anymore. It was just. I got too frustrated with, with getting stuck on levels for a long enough time. Like, I'm not giving you any money to get <laughs> off this level, and I've had it so, so long. I think last time we checked in, I was at level 206 mm-hmm. on Candy Crush Jelly. Uh, I just got up to like a 340. In so the jelly. Wow. Yeah. So guys, while you guys I were doing this, I've been donating to orphans and visiting Africa and like Literally. doing a lot of good in the world. Are you trying to go to so heaven or something? You have a long time. <laughs> like you, you can be bad for like probably about another 40 years. I mean, that's true. No, I just don't want Candy Crush ever. Uh, uh. So you have yeah. someone with priorities and things. Instagram. Some goddamn bullshit. Yeah, see, I, <laughs> but I, can't, I, can't, I can't spend my time on that. I just, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I would, pro- my head would probably explode if I was to follow as many really? social media outlets as there are now. I mean, what the, the major ones. Just Facebook. Mm. That's it. I, I'm not on Twitter. I mean, I've got a Twitter. Scale of f- 1 to 10, how engaged in Facebook do you think you are? Um, I mean, I check it daily. Uh, how many times? Probably at least a half a dozen times. How many posts okay. a week do you think you make? Uh, recently it's been up, but um, I don't know, just a handful usually. What do you usually post? I'll share things that I find funny okay. and, and he, make he, some kind of comment. He's getting much better. He's getting much better. Yes. What do you do? That's, that's a horse shit and bull cockery. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, hey, look, don't come to me for anything re- real and legit. I'm just yeah. going to waste some of your time and have a in like, um, hopefully you'll laugh at something. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's it. So, um, but Brett used to be very dour. So now he's. Um, I would always voice my, my negativity on, on the Facebook. No, oh, that's not good. When, when bad things happen. When yeah. bad things happen. Like, like oh, my, my, bike got, my bike gets stolen. Like, Okay, you know what? I gotta put it out I there somehow. I gotta put this into Facebook. You That's right. Hey, everybody, you sons of stolen bitches. from me the last time. I, I, yeah, I know. I, I had a guy who broke into my house and and uh, stole a thousand dollars in cash that I had in there. It, oh, it was hidden well enough, I thought, but no, it wasn't. And uh, yeah. you know, that was just like you know, sons of bitches. And I, you know, I'll, I'll curse them out and sadly and though, pass my curse on. That's probably your your um, comment or your status with the most likes. <laughs> probably. So that yeah. sucks. Uh, we're going to come back on the other side, and we're going to do a couple more holidays and, you know, some other chicanery. Um, also, I think we're going to run a commercial for um, the, the uh, Teenage Runaway Hotline. So, um, Sweet. Super important information, guys. Get out your pen and paper, you know. Got to get ready for um, helping those girls out. killed there is a way out there is a way off the street not tomorrow but now runaway hotline will get you off the street 
Call Runaway Hotline toll free anytime, day or night. Runaway Hotline gets your message to those who care. Call now and get off the street. What we do here is go back, 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 back. This is Slink Johnson, a.k.a. Black Jesus, B.K.A. Godzilla. Yo, yeah, what's up? This is Craig Wayne. What's good? It's your boy Marcus Parker, and you're watching Z. Z Hollywood TV. What's going on? This is Minnie from Lady Pants. You are watching the top 10 women who are killing it in comedy right now. Magic number 10. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa is a funny ass baddie, and there are way too few of them being appreciated out there. Fat chicks are funny, they're beautiful, and they are badass. And thank God Melissa is literally everywhere to remind us. How many TV shows is one allowed to be on at one time? She's arguably the single most talented physical comedian of our time and commits so fully to her comedy, she has earned the title of THE Melissa McCarthy. Bonus, how effing cute is her chubby chaser husband slash writing partner slash comedy partner slash life partner slash soulmate Ben Falcone? We die for that kind of true love. Please God, don't let them break up. It would be so much worse than when our parents did. Oh, I'm sorry, did you think we were stopping at 10? Just kidding, we're doing 11. Oh, right. We're back here on Grand Theft Audio Radio. Jake Belcher. Brant Thoman. Leah Knauer. And we're going to do like a two more holidays, and then we're going to wrap our shit up. Uh, next month, next we have um, Cancer from the Sun Month. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess we're coming up here mean? to the beginning of, of summer. Right. So like, we're um, spending more time oh. in the skin sun. Skin cancer and stuff. You want to make sure you put on your SPFs. And uh, Do you know how SPF works? I know it's cancerous. It is some cancerous. Of, some of them it? are. Some yeah. of them are. They're like it gives you cancer? Yes. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I'm mean, supposed to block the sun. But away. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's supposed to keep the skin cancer what off. What is a chemical? I mean, we're getting chemicals on our skin. Yeah, That'd you're right. Yeah. It's probably a terrible. Yeah, I mean, I, I constantly see lists being posted on, uh, like you know, don't try the these seven brands will kill you if you use them. It's like these are the worst. Like, okay, well, thanks for letting me know which one's the then worst. Why are they are. still yeah. in the market? If like we know that they're the because worst, because the FDA approves them. Because they, they they say, look, it's gonna work. They show they show testing. Do you remember the name of any of these worst people? Can we warn them now? No, but I'm sure if you looked up on Facebook, you'd be able to find the post yeah. without a problem. I mean, just everything's gonna give us cancer, so it's fine. Exactly. We also have Cataract Awareness Month. Mm. Yeah, right. my, grandma, I I, my grandmother suffered from those. I'm not sure how you, how one fights off cataracts. I don't really know what I it is. I don't think you can. Um, it is where your eye starts to deteriorate, and so from basically the point, like yeah. the dead center out, you lose your sight, so it slowly fades so that all you're seeing is peripheral. Uh, and then eventually your eyes go completely Yeah, how dark. do you prevent that? Uh, there are there are medications that you can get on. Um, Try to just drink eat a your carrots? cranberry juice? No, that's that's to get rid of that's the weed out of your EPI. system. But, um, oh, my bad. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> carrots. Good. Anything uh, ha high in beta carotene is supposed to be good. But I don't think once you once you've got it, there's really not much they can do. Surgery that will help slow the process, but mm -hmm. you will never. They, they there's no cure for cataracts. We've also got as Brant was saying, uh, firework. Firework Safety Month. Safety Month. Makes a lot of sense. We're just about a month out from 4th of July. Mm -hmm. If you want to blow your fingers off, you got to like start learning how to do it now. Yeah. So Well, up. you got to start studying up where you can go buy the ones that will allow you to blow your fingers off yes. because they're all safe and sane now. I was at a party this weekend. Wait, what? Safe and sane. They're safe? Firework. I mean, they're legal? There are not here. Not here. Oh, okay. not, in, not in Los Angeles County, but there are other counties you can go to and purchase safe and sane fireworks. I was at a friend's um, swimming party mm -hmm. on Saturday, and he came up and he gave me a huge. Huge. Right? Close huge. enough. It was better, but. Damn it. Huge <laughs> bag of um, like explosives, a whole bunch of um, M100s. Oh, jeez. Um, Those are fun. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to try oh. to do that. I'm going to try to do that. But like not to me. Wait. Like I'm going to try to trick someone. Hey, Brant. Nope. Is it you going look, out man. of his asshole? No, no, okay, it's 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 one of those bottle rockets that's been shoved between his butt cheeks and they've <gasps> lit it and now it's shooting off. Like the it's a jackass oh, fucking thing. This prank. had to have hurt. Yeah, I, I say it probably did. Okay, okay lastly, uh, one uh, for this month, um, we have this is um celibacy awareness month. Hey. Are you aware that um you don't have to fuck everything, you monster? <laughs> or any yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You can decide not to fuck everything. You can, exactly. fuck, you can decide not to fuck anything. Yeah. Just be aware that that is an option. You know, congratulations, yeah. celibacy awareness month. You just made it in under the deadline here on Grand Theft Audio. Yeah, I'm celibate. 
Congratulations. Hey, good for yeah, you. Yeah, just you, for the by past choice? three months. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, read. not by choice. <laughs> <laughs> sure. But it's still true. Well, I hope that you um, get cast in Mallrats. Thank you. You know. I don't, I'm I'm not, I don't know how that would affect my gonna, celibacy. I'm not going to fuck Kevin Smith. I'm not going to vote for your celibacy because nah, like, it should Jason be like my <laughs> thing to root for or thing to be like, no! Yeah, I don't really need your opinion on <laughs> it. So I'm not going to like uh, yeah. weigh in on that one. Thank you. That's what I'm going to do. Sure. Yeah. All right, I think we're running out of time. Uh, <laughs> Leah. Leah. No, Luke Leah. can't say that. Can't say that. He has to say Leah. No. No, no that's Leah. Lo- uh, Luke has to say Leah. Leah. So like, it's how yeah. I remember it. I feel like you're gonna mess yourself up though, because then you think, "Wait, is it Leo or is it Leia?" No, now no, no. I'm very, f- I, I'm, I'm convinced that a sick Luke Skywalker stuck in the snow cannot say Leia. Like I, I know that can't happen. No, that was Ben. It wasn't that when he was on in Empire when he's hanging. Now I may get confused. See, there you now go. I'm, I'm gonna screw it up. You're gonna be Leia next week. Leah, where Great. can people learn more about you? Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Leah Kanauer, L E A H K N A U E R. And we're gonna trick you back on here again. Yeah. All right, please. great. So we'll make sure you come back in. Absolutely. Uh, Brant, uh, uh, would you have anything you'd like to say here at the end? No. Uh, if you're into, uh, if you'd like to try out a new restaurant, I have just been recently hired at a, a wonderful new Japanese fusion restaurant up in Sierra Madre called Sierra Fusion. Uh, the uh, the chefs are very very talented. The stuff that's coming out looks amazing. I've I've gotten to try just a couple of items and I've been very impressed. Uh, and I mean, it's only been open for about three weeks. But uh, and if they you know like your service, they can sure. tip you money. Sure. And if they like your services on the show, they can tip you extra money too. Sure, absolutely. So you just I'd come out and say like, here's like another ten bucks because you're so good on the show. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I'd like to see happen for him. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I'd like us, to see that happen too. <laughs> next week we're going to have a slightly <laughs> different show. Um, Ooh, what's we're gonna happening? have a couple of. Uh, interviews that I got to do last week uh, that uh, I'm still putting together and I kind of blew it for this week but the shows haven't started yet uh, we have uh, Brett Gelman uh, also we have uh, Jason Wolner the uh, creator of Human Giant uh, we're going to talk about Brett Gelman's Human Giant, Human Giant. we're going to talk about um, Brett Gelman's new um, special on Adult Swim Brett Gelman's Dinner in America we also have Neil Hamburger uh, Greg Turkington and um, Tim Heidecker um, we're going to be talking about Decker, and uh, it's a wild interview. It gets out of control. Like he's totally in character the whole time, and we're worth we're with uh, our old co-host on this one, Carl Kozlowski, and he looks like a dumbass. So just turn it to see Carl look dumb. So that's great. You'll love it. Yeah, a week after Brian Scalaro and a whole bunch of other people. So um, as always, we appreciate you guys coming in and um, checking out um, Grand Theft Audio. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm Jake Belcher. I'm Brant Thoman. I'm Leah Knauer. Uh, saying, uh, don't touch yourselves for a week. Just try. Just try. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like. Um, Fuck other it. things or not yourself. Don't forget to vote. Yeah, I, I guess it's pointless. Let's, this time it's pointless. <laughs>